Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. New week, new video, another brand new video. And in today's brand new video, I'm tackling something I've not tackled for quite a few years now. It's the wonderful Glen Geary 12. It's uh, Eastern Highlander. It is coming in at 48% ABV. It's non-chill filtered. Yes, it's got a little bit of colour in it, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, it's from the Glen Geary Distillery. It's owned by Beam Suntory, and it's been around since 1797. So it's been around a long, long time, which probably makes it one of the oldest distilleries in, in Scotland. But I think it's one of those distilleries that it's a little bit under the radar distillery. Uh, it's spelt Glen, Glen Garriock, but it's pronounced as Glen Geary. As the channel, folks, it's been one of the most requested whiskies that I've had over the last couple of years. I have owned two or three bottles over the years. I think it's been, but it's been a, a good couple of years since I've had a, a little nip on this whiskey. So I'm looking forward to diving back into it, taking a little trip down memory lane. So without any further ado, guys, I'm just going to dive in. I'm going to nose it, taste it. It's been covered up for the last hour or so, so let's get the coin off it and let's get on a nose. So on the nose, wow. It's matured in a mix of X bourbon and X sherry casks and it's, it's delivering all of that. It's got all those beautiful uh, X bourbon notes, so it's lovely toffee, honey, vanilla. But at the same time, it's wonderfully balanced with the beautiful sherry notes, red fruit, dried fruit. They're all there. A little bit of maltiness. A little bit of spice in there as well. It's a lovely spicy maltiness. Raisins, figs, bit of apple, red apple, maybe even some stewed apples, maybe some stewed pears, cooked pears, cooked apples. Real nice, dried fruit. It's got a lovely, lovely vanilla sweetness. Really, really, there's nothing disappointing about this whiskey on the nose, guys. It's really, really engaging. And it's just, it's pretty much an old school whiskey. There's nothing fancy about it. There's nothing jumping out. They're just, everything's there. The ex bourbon notes and the ex sherry notes. It smells lovely. Let's see how we look. I'm not going to mention colour, but let's see if we get a nice coat line going on on there. See if we can see some legs. So at 48% ABV, it should be, should be pretty good. Yeah, there's some, some slow, thick. Yeah, it looks like it might be quite creamy. Looks like a big dram, guys, but as you know, as usual, if you're usual to the channel, you know it's not. You know it's just one of those tiny little whiskey friend capita glasses. So, yes, colour, I'm not really that bothered about the colour, guys. As long as the whiskey's good, I'm not that bothered. But let's dive in and taste it. Let's send this down the hatch nice and responsibly. Dreamy arrival, rich. It's rich and it's sweet. A little bit of spicy arrived, a little bit of spiciness, maybe some nutmeg, maybe some cinnamon. Wow. Got a lovely sweetness to it. A little bit of oaky, oaky dryness on arrival as well, but it's it's not long in settling down. It becomes quite mouth-watering. Some chocolate. Yeah, definitely a bit of chocolate there. It's got a little bit nutty, woody, nutty, dry. Maybe some hazelnut, maybe some walnut. But as you really, as it arrives, let me do a second sip, guys. Just let's do a little bit of research, of course. So nice. Wow. It's always great to go back to those whiskies that you haven't tried for a long, long time. You've probably stuck to the back of the shelves. I see this is a pretty new bottle I bought. I just 
First bottle I bought of 2024, guys. Got it on a deal. Paid around about £40 for it. Very, very tough for that price. Yeah. It's dry, it's nutty, it's chocolatey. Okay. Then, as it's really developed, it's be that those red fruits, those apples, those pears, lovely mix, toffee, maybe toffee apple, a little bit of caramel in there, a little bit of stickiness, sticky toffee apple maybe, and definitely some, some cooked pears through there as well. Wonderfully balanced caramel, toffee, honey, oaky, malty, lovely sweet vanilla notes, rich red fruit, dried fruit. Wow, it's all going on. Really, really nice whiskey, folks. Heading into the finish. It's probably a medium to long finish. It's spicy through the heading into the finish. It's maybe some cinnamon, maybe a little bit peppery, definitely some nutmeg. It's fruity, it's nutty, and it's chocolatey. So all in all, guys, what a wonderful, wonderful piece of work. Yes, it's Beam Sun Tory. Should we do without the colour? Probably, but I don't think it's made that massive difference to this. It wouldn't stop me buying this in the future again now. See, it has been a while, but now I've come back to it, and I really thank you guys and the the comments and the emails and all that stuff asking me to do this whiskey. I'm very, very chuffed that I've done it. But yeah, what would we score this one? So, yes, I'm thinking 40 to 50 pounds, 45 to 50 pounds, 48% ABV, lovely quality, rich, sweet, oaky, fruity, nutty, spicy, chocolatey, it's all going on. It's a solid whiskey, folks. Is it mind-blowing whiskey? Then I don't think it's mind-blowing. But it's it's one of those whiskies you'd love to have sitting on the shelf. And every now and again, you just love to sit down and just sit and pour something. This would be a great one to start off with. Um, I'm going to score this an 87 out of 100, which is not too bad. Um, but yeah. If you've liked the video, guys, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that big red button down below. And, yes, big shout out to my Patreons. Thanks to each and every one of you. Um, so humbled. And that's pretty much for this one, guys. Uh, until the next one, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. And don't forget to send some great whiskey straight down the hatch. And always remember, the pleasure is in the sharing. Cheers, folks. See you next time.